Hey YouTube, Vermont Prepper here. Uh, just got my truck back from the shop. And uh, what happened was, if those of you who follow the channel know this, that my transmission cracked. So I got a new transmission, new TH400, brand spanking new. And while I was at it, I got a new transfer case because the transfer case that I had in there uh, is NP205, which this is as well. Uh, the NP205 I had, the old one, the uh, rails didn't give it, the shift rails didn't give me full range of motion because I put in a uh, ORD twin shifter and I couldn't uh, shift uh, the full range that it's supposed to. So, uh, it turns out there's something blocking it. I'll have to take it apart and see when it's, when I get it rebuilt. Cause I, I kept it obviously, cause those are probably the best transfer cases you can get. Uh, but in the meantime, I got this swapped out along with the transmission. So, uh, adds me, I, and it's actually a little bit modified. I got some pretty cool a pretty cool feature in there that I wanted to go over. So here's my twin shifter right here. And before I start up the truck, I'll go over this. Here's a twin shifter. And right now, well, let's start it up anyway. I got it. So right now, we have the rear engaged high right that's the left side and the front is actually neutral okay so that means that I'm in two-wheel drive right now so uh, I have my front lockers locked so they're they're just uh, uh, they're not engaging four-wheel drive but I have them locked for the demonstration I'm going to show you but right now I have Detroit lockers in the back and again I switched out my uh, gears from uh, they came with 410s and I went up to 488s because I have 37 and a half inch tires on here these are the Hummer tires or Hummer tire size uh, that I have so I wanted a better gear ratio because I have a trailer that I like to pull as well and it just runs much better with 488s in any event, uh, right now we're in two-wheel drive. So Detroit lockers in the back, right? Two-wheel drive. And we're in neutral for the front. Now, I had the rails modified. There's a, a modification you could do to this ORD, to, to actually the NP205 uh, shift rails, where you can have front-wheel drive capability only if you want. Uh, you gotta you gotta modify the the rails in order to do that. They just don't come like that stock. So you can't just bolt it bolt on your, your shifter right here and hope to have front wheel drive. That just doesn't happen. So what you have to do is to go over this particular uh, pattern right here. Right now I'm in two wheel drive rear. I can be and that's high. I could go two wheel drive rear low which will give me more of a crawling function. Then I could go either front low, rear low, or front high, rear high, and that would be just your normal four wheel drive high and low. But this, you can actually just do front low or front high. And what you do there is you put your rear shifter into neutral, and then either your front, and your front shifter on the right either into low or into high. So then the, uh, let's say you break your drive shaft or U joint in the rear, you can uh, actually crawl out using your front wheel drive. So let's do that. So right now I'm in rear high. So I'm gonna switch that to neutral right there. And then we're gonna put the front into high. Okay, you hear it engage there. 
so now I'll put my uh, main shifter here into drive. And you see we're driving along right now. So this is only front wheel drive, which is super, super cool. And you can feel it uh, using that front wheel drive when you turn. And from what I understand, guys use this capability on trails, like not only to, you know, crawl out of a, a trail after a broken U-joint in the rear, but they use it to get around like big rocks if you have to do a tight turn or something. So. Uh, that's basically it. So let's take it down the road. We'll take it for a little drive. And you can see it drives fairly well. Just front wheel. It feels a little squirrely. But you're going to get yourself out with your front wheel drive. So really happy with the... Uh, with the twin shifter here and the capabilities that the added capability that it has so uh, not sure if I've seen any M1028 with this capability I have a car coming here well, of course he's turning my way of course that always happens nobody's on this dirt road until I'm ready to do something, right? That's how it always happens. Alright, so we're just driving front wheel, so it's pretty cool, right? Uh, anyway, that's uh, all I have. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, comment, and as always, uh, keep prepping. Vermont Prepper out. Take care, everyone.